face. Hey guys, Giovanni here, and this is my second informed Giovanni Dos Santos player review. He's got a striker card this week after scoring two goals and two assists against Sossier Dad in a Monday night fixture. I think they're beating 5 1. Pretty sure I'm correct with that, but I'll put him in this 4 3 3 mid golden silver side. As you can see there, seven goals, four assists in seven games for me. Picked him up for 50k, still going for about 45 50k at the moment. He's going to continue dropping because obviously it's team of the year week, so all in forms end up going dead low this week just because there's so many packs open and there's so many on the market. Four star, four star on his weak foot and skill moves, which I love on a player. Yeah, medium low work rates, which is brilliant because it means he doesn't lose stamina, but he's always in the positions you want him to be. As for him being a striker, he's only five foot nine. He's left footed. I've just realised I've wrote right foot there, but he is left foot. I apologise for that. I'll get that changed. And he's a very good player. If you look at his stats, I was hoping there was going to be a few more 99 rated stats just because of the fact that he's a second in form. And normally when a player is second in form, they do give him a couple of like 99s. But nevertheless, he's still got some insane stats on his card. And the thing that I used his first in form, and the thing that gets it again, it's the fact that this card would be better as a cam or a centre forward. That doesn't get me wrong that he's not still a very good player, obviously. But he's small and he's kind of weak. But... He's got a good cross on him, he's got a good pass, and he's got a good shot, and he's got some good dribbling. So he would be a lot better situated behind a striker, or out wide as a cam. So that's how it's better to go with him. But nevertheless, if you're playing him as a striker, he's still going to score your goals. You've seen him here, just getting involved, he's taking my corners, he's putting ball through, and he's just latching on. Like, here he is, the small man at the edge, he's just going to accelerate away. Gets away and just takes that shot and the keeper can't keep it out because he's got a very nice shot on him. Obviously this being his second in form so he has got pretty high stats and a massive shooting upgrade from his non-in form. Here you see him just smashing it through the path of the keeper. Cross goal. Keeper not doing much for it. The best goal he scored was probably the very last goal he scored for me. So you're going to have to wait till the end of the review to see that I'm afraid. But here's showing that you can use his head as the striker if needs be. There you go. Beautifully out jumping the defender and grabbing it in at the near post. Sadly we lost that game but he pulled one back and he still managed to excel in that game for me. After Howard had a brilliant performance against him, he should have got more. Here you see him racing on and that's what he does. He times and spots perfectly. The medium low means he doesn't get tired but he's still in the right position. So he just times his runs perfectly. He's got the pace to hang to the last minute and then time the run, running straight into the path, take the board, slot back of the net and that's what he does. He could have scored more for me but the fact that I could, there was three games where players rage quit against me just meant that he didn't score as many as he could have scored otherwise he would have scored at least 10 goals on me probably because he was running right against players and they were rage quitting a couple of games obviously did last the, the end as you see with the score lines you can tell yourself but apart from that he was a very good player to use and I would recommend using him I'd wait a few days though because he's going to end up about 20-30k just because of how many are going to get packed here's the goal I'm on about this brilliant he picks it up from kick off and he just does a bit of skill, tricks the defender, and then takes this shot off the scale, and boom, just corner the net. The keeper cannot reach it. It's just, it's not like there's powerful, it's just the corner. So I'm giving Do Santos a 9 out of 10. He's an absolutely brilliant player to use. I would wait a few days though, because he's going to be, as I just said a minute ago, he's going to be about 20, 30k soon, maybe cheaper, just because of how many you're going to get part. Obviously, he's got his first own form, keeping him up a little bit. But he's brilliant to use, and I'd put him as a cat. I think he'd be better as a camera centre forward, just due to his height. But if you want to play him as a striker, still go ahead because he's still going to be good to use, lads. So he's getting a 9 out of 10 from me. Leave a like if you enjoyed this review. Subscribe if you're new here. I've been your host, Joe Bleen. Have an A1 day.